Let's see if we can identify some spectator ions here. Calcium has no charge. Nickel is plus 3. Sulfate is minus 2. 2 times 3 is plus 6. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. Calcium is plus 2. Sulfate is minus 2. Nickel is 0. You can confirm this on the periodic table if you like. Since the sulfate's charge doesn't change, it's the spectator ion. So it doesn't really matter what nickel and calcium are bonded to. It's not going to impact the reaction at all. The calcium is going to be oxidized, the nickel is going to be reduced, and whatever ion we throw in there, it doesn't matter. It's completely unimportant. It could be nitrate if we want, or it could be chlorine if we want. It's completely unimportant. The only important thing is what's happening to oxidation and reduction. Spectator ion can actually be removed. So if we wrote it with the spectator ion removed, it would be 3Ca0 plus 2Ni plus 3s forms 3Ca plus 2s plus 2Ni0. Now why did I put the 2 here? Why didn't I keep it there? Because remember, ions repel each other. They don't bond together. These nickels aren't bonded to each other, they're bonded to the sulfate. So if we ignore the sulfate, we put the two in front to show that they're separate from each other. This is what's called an ionic reaction. The nickel could be bonded to anything, nitrate, sulfate, chlorate, anything at all. It doesn't matter, it's a spectator ion. Now sometimes you're going to be given one of these reactions and the coefficients won't be given to you and your job is to balance it. And you might look at this and say, it looks like it's balanced, we've got one calcium and one calcium, we've got one nickel and one nickel. Great, the law of conservation of mass is all set, but the law of conservation of charge is broken. We have plus three on this side and plus two on that side. That's not good. Same thing here, one lithium, one lithium, one zinc, one zinc, everything looks good, except we've got plus two on this side and plus one on that side. What we need to do is balance this in such a way that the charges add up to the same thing on both sides. Does this look familiar? It should. We've been doing it all year long. To balance an ionic reaction, what you do is determine how much the charge changes by for each species, then multiply each species by how much the other species changes charge. This will balance out the charge. Lithium changes from zero to plus one. It changes charge by one. The zinc changes charge from plus two to zero. It changes by two. Multiply each species by how much the other species change charge. Lithium changed by one, multiply zinc by one. Zinc changed by two, multiply lithium by two. Look what that does. Plus two on this side, two times plus one on that side, we have a law of conservation of charge obeyed and the law of conservation of mass obeyed. Here's a couple more examples. The copper changes its charge by one, from plus one to plus two. The iron changes its charge by three. So, the copper changes by one, multiply the iron by one. The iron changes by 3, multiply the copper by 3. Now look what this gives us. Plus 3 and plus 3 is plus 6 on this side. Then on this side we have 3 times plus 2, that's also plus 6. The law of conservation of charge and mass are obeyed. What if you've got a Brinkelhoff in it? Your first job is going to be to balance the Brinkelhoff first by putting a 2 in front of the H plus 1. And then you can proceed from there. The aluminum changes its charge from 0 to 3, so it changes by 3. How much does the hydrogen change by? Well, you might be tempted to say it changes by 1 because, look, it goes from plus 1 to 0. But two of them are doing that two H plus ones are becoming zero. What's two times plus one? Plus two. It's going from plus two to zero. So it changes by two. That's why you balance the Brinkelhoff first. The hydrogen changes by two, so multiply aluminum by two. 
The aluminum changes by three, so multiply the hydrogens by three. Three times two equals six. Three times one is three. We have plus six on this side, and two times three is plus six on this side. Two aluminums, two aluminums, six hydrogens, six hydrogens. The law of conservation of mass and the conservation of charge are obeyed. Obey the law.